Hi, this is Rick Vanover. This is a video blog on what is a virtual machine. I've got a really good way to explain it. Here we go. So right down here, I've got the basic components of any computer. So let's start right here. Um, for those of you keeping score at home, you'll know that some of these are older components, but it's what I have sitting around. This is a processor, okay? CPU. This is the, uh, the brain of any computer. I yanked this out of a computer I have in the basement. And... Uh, that's the fundamental unit of a computer, CPU. Then we have this network card right here, right? So, again, if you're keeping score at home, you'll notice that this is old, but then you just basically take your uh, basic, you know, your network cable, and you plug it in there, you have network access, okay? It's another fundamental unit of a compute platform. Then the next thing here is a memory chip, right? So, you know, these are the things you can buy to throw into your server or workstation, whatever, to get more memory. Lastly, we have a hard drive, okay? I've taken the lid off of this hard drive, but you get the point that it's a rotational platter with a head that seeks around, writes magnetic data. This is definitely not a functioning unit anymore, but, you know, it does its little work, does its little magic here. You're not supposed to do this at all. I've totally hacked this stuff up because it's effectively trash for me. Anyways, these are the four components of a traditional computer. And here's a good way to explain one of the reasons why virtualization is better. Definitely a better way to go. Let's start with uh, memory, right? Everybody likes those gaming applications or likes those um, server-side applications in the workplace that require uh, more and more memory. What do you do? Well, you add another DIMM or RAM, right? So there's 50 bucks, boom, right there, or whatever it's going to cost. All right, so I actually have to go out and buy this piece, right? That's money, money out of my pocket. But, you know, you pay your money, the next day you can have this thing in your hand. So you put it into your computer, okay? Well, what if I need more hard drive space? Well, then you buy another hard drive, all right? Now, this is another hard drive. I haven't hacked it and removed off the lid, but you get the point that, you know, you can, you can continually add more components to your compute platform, and you can repeat, repeat that with network as well as CPU resources. And when you go to the virtual environment, what you do is you actually take away that requirement to add uh, physical components like memory and like disk and CPU and network for that matter you simply add a uh, logical representation of these devices in that virtual machine so make sure to read this entire blog post on the Ricketron blog that explains what is a virtual machine it's an easy question but not too many answers out there for it thanks for tuning in